The Lloyd Bubble Center in Norman is buzzing with the sounds of the first Bedlam women's basketball matchup of the season. Sherry Cole's shorthanded Sooners won with only six available players here just two days ago. And Jim Littell's Cowgirls are off to a 3-2 and two beginning, but they're coming off a home loss to Tulsa back on Sunday. Players available. They want to save their legs. They've played two games in the last five days with only six players. They want to decrease the number of possessions in this game. Blocking foul underneath. Count the basket for Collins. And Liz Scott picks up the personal. Sue Hale from Oklahoma. Shot clock trickling down, and there's Collins. She is a terrific defensive player, despite being a freshman, Britt. Yeah, that's her That's her forte. And a three ball by Lexi Keys, the other freshman. 6-0 Oklahoma State. He expects her to snap out of it soon. Gregory slashing, pulls up to the baseline and gets the Sooners on the board. Nice and attacking dribble, but then pulling up short of the shot blocker. So the Sooners go over five minutes without scoring, still down by only four. Collins yeah, that... got to the rim that time. With that, as Keys races back the other way. 10-2 Oklahoma State, and there's a three by Asbury. Robertson hasn't been able to get free for a shot. Wiggles her way to the bucket, though, and scores. You can play with four players. You can play with three. You just have to start the game with five. Robertson's shot got blocked by Fields. She'll get another, and she'll make good on this triple. From it's man-to-man. -man. Tots for Liz Scott. Van slashes and scores for the Sooners. One on the shot clock and a three by Lauren Fields at the buzzer. Robertson off the handoff, hits another three. Keys runs off a Collins screen to the deep corner and Fields who rinses her second of the night. They still have to shorten this game. Well, they do, but they have to be intentional with their moves to the basket, just like that. Now Keys. Asbury finds Mack for an easy lay-in. Liz Scott splits that double team. Mack's fourth block, and she took the rebound. Boy, Natasha Mack has asserted herself here in the third quarter, hasn't she? And a stop and pop for Asbury on the other end. Oklahoma State's lead is out to 15. Game, she's at 11 right now, but when we talked to Jim Littell today, he said he'd like it to be about 20 <laughs> attempts. Cap actually been able to touch the basketball. There's Mack squaring up and hitting another one. She has 14. And that's good to close the quarter from Asbury. Yeah, exactly. Just going right at Liz Scott. Debbie Gregory short with that, but Van is able to clean up the mess. Conversation with Coach Tubbs where I wasn't better off <laughs> when I walked away. Just always a positive thought, a smile, a vote of confidence. And we still miss him every day. There's Gabby Gregory with a three. Director of the KEL Foundation passed away suddenly this past week. And I had a chance to talk to Sherry Cole. You and I had a chance to talk to Sherry Cole about her. And Sherry just had such great memories of Sue and how she always kept things fun and all that she did for women's basketball. And frustrated. That's her third game this year that she's fouled out. They need her on the court. Sooners continue the comeback. A 14-0 run with Taylor Robertson's triple. And a timeout taken by Jim Littell and the Cowgirls. It's a 10-point game. Taylor Robertson, a big three. That is her fourth of the night. Asbury goes to work against Todd. Pulls up and drops home a 15-footer. Third year that you would expect in somebody that has the experience that she does and just making great contributions for Jim, Jim Littell on both the offense and defensive ends. Tot the steal, missed the lay-in. Robertson will put it back up and in with 18 seconds left. Somebody that has the experience that she does and just making great contributions for Jim, Jim Littell on both the offense and defensive ends. Tot the steal, missed the lay-in. Robertson will put it back up and in with 18 seconds left. Round number one of Bedlam goes to the Cowgirls, 66-53 to 53 in Norman tonight.